Hi, this is Michael. Thanks for tuning in. And uh, this is an experiment that I've been working on over the last couple of days, working with uh, a doll Cubase, in this case, in my ongoing search for um, well-integrated score programs, notation programs, with DAW programs. Um, so what I've done here is I've taken a score that was originally notated in Notion and I've ported that over using a MIDI export into Cubase. Um, set up all the tracks in Cubase and went back in then in Cubase and added all the dynamics. In this case the dynamics are pretty simple. Uh, they consist mostly of slurs. Uh, there aren't even really any um, technique changes other than the legato phrases created by the slurs and uh, dynamics created by the notation. So uh, you'll see some hairpins, some dynamic changes, slurs. That's about it. It's a pretty simple experiment. That's what I was after to try and see how Cubase works in an integrated environment. Cubase is uh, using the information in the MIDI tracks, obviously, to feed a Vienna Ensemble instrument. And each section has Tutti uh, and group sections, uh, when appropriate, for Divisi strings. So this is the way it looks set up in the uh, Sage One Hall in Mid Pro. Um, the uh, violin ones to the left, violin twos to the right, set back, violas to the left, set back a little further, and cellos set back further still. So just trying for some balance and some spatial depth in the recording. Anyway, I hope you enjoy it.
So a couple comments and um, some editorializing. From a comment standpoint, uh, a lot of people have been looking at my tutorials, my videos, and uh, I want to make it clear that uh, the Vienna Instruments Pro is not associated at all with Cubase. It's not associated with Notion for that matter, which is the notation program that I typically use and present in my videos. But uh, Vienna Instruments Pro is a third-party instrument, and Vienna Ensemble is a player device that operates uh, those instruments. So basically, the MIDI uh, channels in Cubase route MIDI signal to Vienna Ensemble Pro. Vienna Ensemble Pro then plays back the audio into Cubase. And what you've heard here in this recording is not any audio recordings, it's simply raw MIDI uh, playing of the Vienna Ensemble instruments. So there's no audio recording that's been done here. One of the next steps would be to um, record these tracks as audio uh, and then uh, manipulate them in a traditional DAW mixing environment, adding equalization, other sweetening and post-production techniques to maximize the audio dynamics and the sound quality of each instrument. Uh, I think it sounds pretty darn good uh, for, for what it is and there is some equalization going on uh, within each instrument. Um, there's a PSP Vintage Warmer in this recording, and then I use Britson Bus and Britson Channel add-ons for a little bit of an analog warmth quality in the recordings. So uh, a little bit of Abbey Road studio sound there. Uh, so there is some sweetening going on in the mix that you've heard. Uh, but of course the next step would be, as I said, to record audio. So. Um, enough of those comments. On the editorial side of things, what have I found out? I found out that Cubase is very mature and very deep in terms of its integration of notation with the DAW program. It is what I wish PreSonus would do with a combination of Studio One and Notion. And I hope they're headed there, but they have been silent about it and have said nothing. But I think this gives you an idea of what could be done with this kind of integration. In this case, Cubase offers the score program as part of the package, and Logic does as well, interestingly enough. Logic has well-integrated uh, score capabilities within um, the DAW program itself. Uh, in this case, Cubase is interesting and I explored it because of the expression maps that VSL offers uh, to take this note information and raw MIDI information and translate it into the correct articulations and um, playing techniques for the Vienna Ensemble Dimension strings. And so that's why I've done this experiment. Does it work? I think the audio that you've heard proves that it works very, very well. Is it worth the investment in Cubase Pro? That's about a $550, $600 investment. Uh, I'm not so sure. The jury is out on that one. Okay, I've talked enough. I hope you've enjoyed this. I hope it's been helpful, and I'm sure you'll be seeing more from me later. Take care.